Hi, my name is Dr. Cardinal Smith, and I am the Chief Quality Officer for Cancer at the Mount Sinai Health System. Um, absolutely, the vaccine is safe for cancer patients. I think the precautions to not taking it would be that that we give to any person in the general public, which would be specifically if you've had um, a reaction to the polyethylene glycol, which is um, the uh, material in the vaccine that has been causing some allergic reactions. Um, I think the question is, how well does the vaccine work in patients who have active cancer on active treatment? Because the treatment itself can make the immune system not as responsive as it normally would be. There's a risk that the vaccine may not work as well as it would in someone who doesn't have cancer, but there's no reason to suggest that it doesn't work. Absolutely. Um, both cancer patients and cancer survivors should get the vaccine <clears throat> when it becomes available to them. So the side effect of this vaccine is very similar to what one might expect with any vaccine. Um, you can have some pain at the site of the injection, um, and typically that can last for about a day or so. You may experience mild symptoms as if you had coronavirus, um, like fevers, chills, feeling tired. Um, some people have um, experienced headaches. Um, other people may get swollen lymph nodes because that's where the virus itself, that's where the antibodies are made. Um, and in general, in general, these side effects are fairly mild. Yeah, it's absolutely safe and okay to get the vaccine while undergoing active cancer treatment. Um, there are a couple of exclusions. Um, what our guidelines, our cancer guidelines say is that if you are a patient with cancer actively on treatment to get the vaccine when it becomes available to you. Um, there are two special populations, in particular those patients who've recently undergone, undergone a bone marrow transplant um, because the immune system is really resetting itself after that. The recommendation is to wait for three months after you've completed your transplant before you get the vaccine. And for those patients who are on treatments that really lower their white blood cell counts, the recommendation is to wait until your white blood cell count comes up to normal or near normal um, so that your body has the most opportunity to make antibodies in response to the vaccine. So I think, um, you know, particularly for patients with cancer, um, the coronavirus can be more challenging and can lead to more poor outcomes um, when, when infected with coronavirus, including death. Um, and so it's really important that those patients who have cancer or who have had cancer um, get the coronavirus when it's available and that also their support systems, their caregivers, those people who live with them also get the vaccine um, as quickly as it is available to them. And I would say for those patients who are still actively on treatment, um, even once you have the vaccine, because we don't know if the immune response would be as good as someone who does not have cancer, we still think it's critically important that you continue to take all of those same measures that you've been taking to protect yourself, including wearing a mask, having good hand hygiene, um, and being physically distanced from others to the extent that you can.